One of the first outings that we had with him, we, we took him to the park and we got him in the power chair. It was pretty fun to watch that transition because he started maybe 10 feet away, he needed to look back and they'd go a little farther and he'd look back. And it was like, well, come back. And he's like, ha, 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 and he took off. Yeah. And it was really, it was an, a, a strange experience, you know, especially for me because as his primary caregiver, there's always a connection between us. And so it was just like this moment of great independence for him and this realization, I can go where I want to go. We didn't realize how much his world outlook was passive and depending on us to move him around to see things. Sometimes with a walker, there's so much going on. He really has to focus on every step he takes. And so to have this power chair, he just has to move that joystick. So now he can focus and has the, that opportunity to explore in a way that he couldn't in a walker. About two years ago, we took him to a fire station. He enjoyed it so much that anytime you know, we were like, oh, what are we gonna do this weekend? I wanna go to a fire station. Sean is an amazing, amazing kid. He's so inquisitive, and I'm always so surprised at how much attention he pays to everything we tell him. And every time he comes back, he just gets smarter and stronger. We're so happy because we see Sean's desire to serve and to contribute in positive ways. And we see that it's, it goes both ways. And we're heartened by knowing that Sean's making those connections. I think of our life with Sean as kind of like a puzzle, and there's all these pieces that connect together. Everybody that knows him, you know, I'm just blown away by the support we've received from everybody around us. And every single one of those connections is what makes it work.